Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Spending time with my family at the end of a long day is important to me. That's why I bank by phone. Reasons is Huntel Systems. Huntel is a diverse family of businesses, each with our own unique products and service offerings. To understand us, you have to know a little about where we came from. We are a family business. It was the vision of E.C. Hunt, affectionately known as Grand. One of a kind strategic missions. Tinker is America's Wings in the Heartland. In 1941, Europe was under siege. America was being drawn inevitably closer As to... An industry leader. In 2002, CSO developed the infrastructure, enabling them to support debt cancellation programs. With the ability to extend both credit insurance and debt cancellation offerings, CSO strengthened their position in the debt protection arena. The final piece of the strategy came when CSO sold its Medicare supplement, cancer, and other supplemental health care products. Now, CSO, which boasted a record high $100 million in surplus, could focus all of its energy on protecting debt by providing innovative solutions and value to lenders. Welcome to Norland International. Headquartered in Lincoln, Nebraska, Norland is a global manufacturer of innovative, world-class water bottling and packaging solutions. Founded in 1993, Norland's products have significantly changed the face of the bottled water industry. No longer do entrepreneurs have to compromise on quality or efficiency when selecting equipment for their operations. In fact, Norland was a pioneer in the industry by designing, supplying, and commissioning complete bottled water plants from treatment and storage through the filling and capping process. So what makes Norland the choice of bottled water operators all over the world? It's a combination of innovative engineering, quality craftsmanship, cost-efficient systems, and impeccable customer support. Put simply, for Norland's customers, it's expectations fulfilled. not man-made. I'm not going to go back in there. I don't know what it is, but I'm not letting my daughter in there either. From CNE, Retrospect continues with Neil Townsend. It's known by many names, the Phantom Cave Phenomenon, the Disappearance of Tom McFarland, and the Legend of the Lost Treasure. Whatever it's called, the history is the same. 
a young man deeply in love searched an abandoned mining cave for a lost treasure so he could marry the girl of his dreams. By the time he found the treasure, it was too late. She had wed another man. His sorrow sent him back into the cave. His cries of anguish caused a cave-in. In the hundred years since then, 13 people have disappeared without a trace in the cave. About 25 years after Tom McFarland disappeared, a group of investors from New York City, unaware of the local tragic legend, made a small tourist attraction of the gold mine. The guided tour business was spotty given the locals' fears. Over the years, there were periodic disappearances for which there was no real explanation. Finally, in 1929, after a tour guide disappeared in the middle of his talk, the mine tours were shut down and the mine has been boarded up ever since, with a few disturbing exceptions. Reports of moans and cries from inside persisted. Rumors spread throughout Darien County that the mine was haunted. We'll hear from the mayor of Darien Lake in a few moments, but first, Jane Klein brings us up to date on new investment at the Western New York theme park. Neil, you wouldn't believe what the new investors have done with this ancient cave. In 1996, investors spent over $10 million to reinvent Darien Lake with a series of new attractions and improvements, including building a world-class indoor roller coaster inside a cave that, as we've been telling you, is alleged to be haunted. The DVD lesson. Each DVD has several lessons on it, while the creative arts may have four separate lessons Mathematics and reading DVDs may have up to 14 individual lessons. In each lesson, you will see three or four United States students and a certified teacher. Many of you have asked if this is what a U.S. classroom looks like. No, it's not. This is not typical of our teaching situations in the United States. For the purpose of making the DVDs, we have found it easier to show just a few students. In the United States, many teachers have between 20 and 30 students per classroom. In this first part of the lesson, the teacher models how the lesson could look in your classroom. Let your students watch the lesson in its entirety the first time through. You may want to watch it again at a later date and stop and pause as you go. But the first time, it is best to let the students see the entire lesson. At the end of the lesson, you will be directed to stop the lesson and conduct your classroom lesson. The classroom lesson. The teacher manual that accompanies the DVD will have some idea for how you can extend the lesson in your classroom. Use as many or as few of these ideas as you need for your students to achieve mastery. Sometimes there are extra materials in the kit that will help you with the classroom activities. The review lesson. When you have finished the classroom activities, it is time to use the DVD player for the review lesson. Press play for the review lesson. Have students watch the Opportunity Education students as they review the concepts. In many lessons, there will be a second review, a graphic review that will allow your students to follow along and answer questions about the lesson. Mm -hmm. 